Hello, in this movie I was hoping to cover uh, the, the way to access sims and uh, show you a couple different resources available on the landing page. The first thing I do is usually come to Google or whatever search you want and I just type in sims Iowa DOT and then I'll just take my, I want to go to the sims home page so I just click on that link to the sims home and this is the sims home page. This is recently been updated so this has a little bit different look than it did before and where you want to go is if you've not been into sims before you want to go to the get started if you've already been logged into sims 4 you can just click on this link and it will take you to the login so assuming that you haven't been into sims before we'll go to the get started so I'm going to click on the get started link and this takes you to the, the page to kind of walk you through the steps that you'll need to do to get access to sims the first thing you'll need to do is step one that to get access to Sims, you have to have Inter Enterprise A and A account, which is kind of a one-stop shop to get access to DOT applications. So if you haven't been set up in Enterprise A and A, you want to register for a username and password. So I'll click on this. And since I've already been into Enterprise A and A, it took me to the sign-in page for for Sims. And you'll notice it says Structure Inventory Appraisal Man Management for Sims. And it'll look, that form could potentially look different depending on which application you're getting in through Enterprise a a So um, since I already have an account, it took me here. But if you have not, don't have an account with Enterprise a a you can click to the tab up here and it'll, you can create account. And you'll put your first and last name. You can go through here and register. And it, it could take, you know, a day or so for this to get through the, the process for, for Enterprise a a And for DOT employees, they don't need to do this step, but if you're outside the DOT, you have to go through and register for the Enterprise a a So then once you've got set up with an Enterprise a a account, I'm going to go back and kind of go through the next step. So that's just part of the, the, the steps you need to complete to get access. The next step is you need to fill out what type of access you want within SIMS. Are you a bridge owner, program manager? In this case, I'm just going to open up for, for information, bridge information. So this is for folks that just need to, to get read information in there. They're not actually doing inspections. So then you'll just come to this, this page. You'll fill out the information required below in the form. Come down here, and then you're going to have to probably do this security to prove that you're not just a, some robot in there filling this information out or some hacker trying to get into DOT. So then fill out that information and hit the submit. And that will send it off to the, the staff here at the DOT. And then it may take a day or two for us to get that processed and get you access into SIMS. But then, then you should be good to go. And then you should be able to go back to the home page, click log into SIMS, and then just fill out your, your email address that you used for the setup. The, something to note here at the bottom, it tells you, so public user is going to be first and last name typically at Iowa ID. And in some cases, you may have to, your name may already be used, so you may have to add some, a two or three or a number sequence to the end of the name. So it's important to remember what you use to sign in with Enterprise a a because that's what you'll have to use here to get in. And then for state employees, they just use their, their email address with the DOT to, to log into this and sign in. Um, one important thing I wanted to touch base on, too, is back on the login page, there's a, a menu on the left hand side there that gives you access to all the resources and you can see we've got a lot of useful resources there's MBIS you know waiting and diving procedures and then in addition similar to this we've got some other training videos that you can find on that resources page so that I'm hoping to add additional videos or the additional videos will get it out over time so um, thank you for your time today